Hi guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how you can launch all your AutoHotKey scripts at the startup of your computer. So next time you reboot your PC, the AutoHotKey scripts that contain the hotkeys and hot strings that you use normally will relaunch. Um, I'm also going to be covering how you can kill all the running instances of AutoHotKey script and how you can also restart all the scripts that you have saved in a particular folder such as a startup folder so if you're interested in this video please continue watching hi guys welcome back so first thing that we're going to learn is how to make the auto hockey scripts that we have written to launch automatically next time you reboot your PC. When you reboot your PC, you normally have to manually launch the scripts that you have, such as these, one by one, in order to use the functions within the scripts, such as hotkeys and hot strings. So I've got some hotkeys in my first script, um, more hotkeys in my second script, and some hot strings on my third script. Now, in order for you to um, start this up upon a PC reboot what you have to do is go to start and type run and hit enter and once you do that you'll get this window and you can also bring this window by pressing the start button and then the R key now once you bring up this window type out shell colon startup and hit enter and when you hit enter it will bring up another folder like this this folder is the folder where you save all the programs and whatnot, not just limited to auto hotkey scripts, in order for those programs to run at the at the startup of your of your desktop. So simply what you can do is you can copy these scripts or cut the scripts and move them over to your startup folder. Or what I normally do is I create shortcuts to these scripts and bring them over to my startup script and next time I start up my PC all these scripts will rerun automatically all right that's about it for running your scripts at the startup of your PC so we'll move on to how we can kill the auto hockey scripts that are running currently now let me just go ahead and run these scripts and in order to so these scripts are running in the background so if I type on my way, it's going to produce my hot string. So in order to kill these scripts, what you can do is go to start and search for CMD, which will bring up your command prompt and go task kill slash F slash IM and autohockey.exe. Now this is going to kill the three scripts that I have run. Right, so if I go back to site and type out on my way to see if my hot string would run, it doesn't run because the script has closed. Now, if you are using AutoHotKey 32-bit version or you're running a 32-bit AutoHotKey script, then the command is going to be slightly different. You have to put in AutoHotKey U32EXE in order to close out your 32-bit AutoHotKey script. I don't have any so it didn't find any to terminate. Now you can also use an auto hockey script to to do the same in the command prompt and the command for that is run cmd.exe slash c and open quotation and close quotation and what goes inside the quotation marks is the exact command line that I have input in the command prompt before. So this is the command line that would kill all the running instances of AutoHotKey in the background. So let me go ahead and run script 2 and 3 this time because I've converted script 1 into a killer. Now run script 2 and script 3. And if I type out OMW now, you can see that the hot string is working, the hot string from my third script. Now, if I go ahead and 
run the first script that would kill the running instances of Orohaki, you'll get a, a flash of CMD. And that should have killed all the instances that are running in the background. So if I went and typed out OMW, it's not going to produce the output of my hot string like that. Now that I have killed all the scripts running in the background, let's learn how I can start up all the scripts that are saved in my startup folder um, in one go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reuse my first script, comment the, the run command out, and I'm going to start a loop of files. And then in the next um, item, I'm going to be putting in the path to my startup folder like that and then put a slash and star now this will give the reference to the script so that it will go into this folder and look at all the items within this folder because I provided a, a star here now note that you can also replace this part of the string up to roaming into percentage sign a underscore app data you want to share your script with other people that may have different usernames and therefore a static path doesn't work for them now once I'm done with this I'm gonna move on to creating curly braces and what goes inside the curly braces are the commands that are going to operate on each of the files within the starter folder and I'm gonna start off with if if in string a loop file full path dot ahk does not equal zero then run a loop full file full path that's it so what this is going to do is it's going to run an if statement for each of the files and it will check whether within the file full path there's going to be a there is a dot ahk within the full path of the file including the file name so and if that is true then it's going to run that program so all of these shortcuts that i have have dot ahk so these are going to satisfy the if statement and therefore these are going to be run by the by the loop now if i create a random text file this text file doesn't have dot ahk in its name and therefore this is not going to open up when i run the script uh, what i'm going to do is because i don't want this first script to continuously run and run and run and run what I'm going to do I'm just going to delete this and leave script 2 and two, uh, 3 and if I hit save for test script 1 right now if I typed out on my way the hot string doesn't work nor is pressing the alt pressing the alt key down and will up push up my volume or, or, or bring down my volume so if I go ahead and run the first script, it will have run my test script 2 and 3. So if I typed out on my way now, you can see that the hot string is running, meaning my test script 3 is running. And also I could press the alt key down and go will up to bring up my volume and will down to bring down my volume. So sometimes when you're writing a lot of demos and test scripts and you're running them and some of them are persistent so that they would run in the background while doing nothing and you kind of feel that you're clogging up your computer and what you can do then is you would think that you can run this command to kill all the running instances of the hotkey using the first command and then go on to run back all the scripts that you have saved in the startup folder but that doesn't work that way because unfortunately the first command line that kills the auto hockey script also kills its own script so whatever that follows after that first line of command is not going to work so let me prove that to you by 
showing you that my script is running at the moment so the hot string worked by producing on my way the text now um, so I've got the script 2 and 3 running if I ran the first script what it's going to do is it's going to first kill all the running instances of Haki and restart the script 2 and 3 which are in my starter folder right but that's not going to happen and I'll show you if I run the script it just ran the script and theoretically if I typed out my hot string for example on my way it should work but it doesn't work and that's because it killed the first script as it was running this command and I'm going to be teaching you how you can go around that in the next tutorial video and wrap this one up now thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video